Yeah. You know, I, Muffin and I met at midcore and just we, we thought it was shockingly bad. <laughs> and we both felt that way. Um, they won. They did more hustle plays. Um, nothing was flowing for either team. Credit to the, you know, assistant coaches with the prep. I think you know both teams know, both teams are rhythm teams. Both teams need flow. Both teams have great chemistry in passing, and so as ugly as that looked, um, there was some unbelievable effort defensively to to some high level, um, I think prep and scouting to make people uncomfortable. They were uncomfortable. We were uncomfortable the whole game. That was ugly. But sometimes that's just. Uh, matter of two teams that know each other and have a history and know what to take away. So um, defensively, we battled. Um, defensively, they really battled. And when they were challenging every shot in the fourth quarter there and we were getting some some tipped three-pointers, some blocked three-pointers, and that that really, that really that's a credit to them. I mean, they really made the extra effort on those kind of plays. And uh, so that kind of swung swung the balance. Coach, when, that, when this game lands exactly on two years anniversary from when you beat them here, well, did that give you like maybe could be karma for us? I don't know. I mean, you can't. It, it, both teams are too good. To, that gimmicks are gonna, you know, gimmicks are little side stories. They're just both teams are too good. You know, it was a worker man's kind of blue collar kind of kind of game there, and um, we just they they were more mature about their disruptive their disruptions on offense. They were more mature about it, and they dug deeper and they worked a little harder. And we were more immature about it, I thought, and a little bit. Um, our shot selection was worse than theirs. And both teams were trying to make the other team take bad <coughs> shots, and it happened. But um, in the end, I think there was a stretch there where we kind of got impatient and didn't shoot um, shot. We weren't willing to work in 10 more seconds to get a better shot. Damian, I can't remember if it was JT or Ma, but after the Florida State game, they talked about how sometimes the third quarter can be problematic. Yeah. And it kind of happened again today. They're late in the third quarter. Yeah. I think a really big play was like um, Key Hayes had a, wide, a layup that was, they challenged, and we didn't chase it down. And then, bam, to the other end, they have the layup. They miss it as well. And their player did chase it down and put it in. So the, the, for some moments like that as a coach, you just kind of go, golly, you know, if we're not willing to do – if we're not willing to just chase Key's layup down and, and follow up, and they are, then they're going to get the win and we're going to be sitting here feeling bad about ourselves. And we don't feel good about ourselves right now. We really don't. Lisa, can you talk about um, you had a, a responsibility defensively for a lot of the game against Brianna Turner, their All-American, and she scored a season low seven points. Can you talk about what you and the team in general did against her and, and how that went? Um, we tried to pick up, like, pick her up early and um, always play under her and then um, count on our uh, defense, defensive reel to um, have the lob if they threw it. And I think we got that part out of it. They yeah. didn't have a lot of lobs or anything today, so that was – all defensive game plan that we had on her. Yeah, I mean, ugly isn't necessarily awful. I mean, ugly sometimes is on purpose because they're, they're such a high-level offensive team, and I think we are such a high-level offensive team. So um, it's not going to be a fun film session, but I do think that we did give effort on the defensive end tonight. Hey, JT, can you talk about defensively, you guys seem to force a lot of turnovers, especially early. Uh, talk about your defense and what you're trying to uh, we know with these conference guards, you know, we can't give anybody free space and uh, open looks. Um, and as a team, that was part of the defensive game plan as well. Like, uh, we know Lindsey Allen, one of the best point guards in the nation. You got to heat her up and you can't give her uh, open vision. So, I mean, that was big, but we turned them over, but we didn't execute on the offensive end. It was just a, a, a lack of focus. JT, big picture also, like, two, two games in a row where you ha here where you have a ranked team and you're not able to, to, to take them down. You know, what are your thoughts on, on that? Oh, um, we just got to be better. Like I said, lack of focus. We got to be a lot better. Um, had, a, you know, two big opportunities in front of us here at home. Um, and we let it slip away. So um, we just got to keep grinding, keep going, stay focused. So is, it, is it a good thing that you have another ranked Time to dwell. You guys gotta get rid of yeah. Well, just look at the stretch we're in right now. Yeah. I mean, it's rank, 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 rank. I mean, the only non-ranked team that we've played was at Pittsburgh, and it was a road game. That's how we've opened the schedule. I mean, that's it. And if there's eight teams in your conference rank, chances are you're playing three or four or five, six, six in a row. I mean, there are eight teams in our conference that are 
on the top 25 in the nation. So um, that's, we got them all early. So we, we're, we're going to deal with it. I mean, and uh, Virginia Tech's playing great. I just want to make sure that the next time that we play at home that we have a tremendous personality and tremendous passion for the game and the fans can see how hard these kids work because I don't think if you were a fan tonight you would think that we really bust our butts, but we do. We do. We didn't look like we did tonight, but we do. And they are super kids with a ton of character. And I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to say much in practice tomorrow, but my leaders will. Is that, is that upsetting that you had a great effort State the other night and yeah. All of a sudden, you know. I know, you know, and I got to figure out how, uh, you know, I, 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 I got to figure out how to keep us fresh and that keep us com competing. Um, you know, we had a really tough game, played our guts out, got home late and whatever, but Notre Dame played too. I mean, it didn't have as hard of a game, but um, we both traveled here. I mean, and uh, so I, it, sometimes that's just and we're two days rest and we got another game. And then it's just two, 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 two. That's what it's just been to open up. And, but we have depth, so I, I just don't – I'm kind of glad there's another ranked opponent. I'd hate to be in a trap game, but we, we'll, they'll have our attention. JT, as one of the leaders, what do you say tomorrow in practice as the coaches are going to be um, we got to focus in practice. That's where it all starts. Um, I know I keep mentioning focus, but that, that's really what it's all about. Focus on game plan, focus on who you're guarding, who, what's the scout, like everything like that. Like we, we, we got to do a better job. And I, I mean, I'll take it as a leader as well. I got to do a better job um, getting all my teammates and uh, the underclassmen and helping them and encouraging them. Anything else? Thank you.